Yeah, Pete. So I didn't want to make another video about this NSA keeping a gigantic tank full of fucking metadata on every single phone call and fucking email passed, you know, from, um, into or out of America or, or around inside America. I didn't want to do it, but people seem to misunderstand what it is that's happening here, right? People keep saying, that, oh, they're trolling through everybody's phone numbers. They're listening to all your comments. And then in the next step, you know, Rand Paul is a, is a fucking perfect example. One minute he's saying, you know, there's too much data for them to look at it all. And then in the next conversation he's saying, oh, they're going through everybody's phone numbers and listening to everybody and looking at everybody's emails. We should get a class action up and sue them, you know, and it's like, they can't possibly be fucking doing both things. Having too much information to fucking, you know, troll through it all, read it all and fucking listen to it all. And then in the next instance, they're reading it all and listening to it all. You can't have it fucking both ways, Rand Paul, you fucker. That's not how it fucking works. They've got a huge, big, gigantic data fucking base. You know, just like banks. You know banks have gigantic, huge databases full of fucking millions of people's fucking personal, uh, you know, financial accounts. And when the police go in there and say, you know, we're looking for this person, we want to check how much money he's had transferring through his bank in and out each month, you know what I mean, for the last fucking year or two, because we think he's been laundering money for a fucking, you know, uh, a crime syndicate. They don't go in there and the bank says, well, here's the database, and they go in and look at everybody's fucking money records. They're not looking at yours or his or the other person next door or your neighbour, no. They go in there and they've got fucking something there in their hand. They've got a fucking account number and a name and maybe some other f fake names the cunts used. And they take them into the database and it goes in there and it pulls out that information. And they look at that information. They're not looking at every bit of fucking information on that database. That's what's going on, that's what's happening, that's what the fucking NSA is doing, right? They capture that information so that if, for instance, in two months' time, somebody gets caught on a plane flying into America with another fucking pants bomb, or a fucking, you know, a bomb swallowed into his stomach since, you know, we've checked his pants and we've checked his shoes, but maybe he's swallowing hundreds of little packets of fucking gel, mate, and then a little fucking capsule with a detonator in it, and he's going in there and say, being a drug mule, he's a bomb mule, you know what I mean? So maybe it doesn't go off, you know what I mean? And he throws it up on the fucking carpet or some eye, you know what I mean? Whatever. And they, they get his phone fucking off him, and they get some numbers on his phone, you know what I mean? They get his email address. Then they go into the fucking database in America, and they check who has been in contact with that email address from America, if MD has. Who's ever been in contact with this phone number they've got? in America, if anybody has. And then they can pull these the people out of the fucking, you know, the, the the gigantic meta tank of metadata, and they can check those people. They're not fucking checking up on every fucking American. They're just capturing your data. They're not looking at it. There's too much of it to look at. They need to have some key that's going to give them the information out of all that fucking data. The, the specific, specific piece of information they're looking for, you know. And it will be if they get a number. Say if somebody gets caught in England, which they have been, and we pass out a phone number to America saying we caught this guy, he was going to board a plane going to America, and he, he had a bomb on him, you know what I mean? We stopped him getting on the plane, but here's his fucking, his telephone number, here's his, his email address, you know. Then they can check if anybody has been contacting this cunt from America. That's what it's for. And I know, yeah, there's possibilities that you're saying, oh, you're so stupid, James, you're only looking at what they say. You're only looking at it you know, from the good perspective, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're so dumb, you know? But if that's the only way they can actually utilise the system properly, unless they've got a fucking a specific reason to either want to go in and, you know, destroy a person, for instance. For instance, like the Bush administration. Or... The fucking uh, Mormon administration, you know what I mean? Or, or somebody like fucking that cowboy fucker for Texas, if he'd got in, you know? Or Michelle Bachman. Do you think she wouldn't have went into that fucking thing with your name if you were one of her fucking opponents in her next election? Yeah, she would have went in there and she would have fucking found her information. What we need, though, is we need to separate this from politicians. We need to have it in, in somewhere like that. Uh, no, a, a, an administrative fucking body that isn't controlled by the fucking White House or the Senate or fucking some corporation or the Koch brothers 
Yeah. How do you do that? Well, the Senate is now going to talk about what rules and regulations they've got to put in, what independent fucking body they've got to put in charge of access to the fucking database, that sort of thing. Like, you know, a court judge, several court judges, independent fucking, you know, uh, brains who are non-party political. They're the sort of people you need to have in charge of the database in order to protect it, you know what I mean? But not having the database doesn't make sense to me. Controlling the database properly, that makes perfect fucking sense to me. And one person I would want to control that is fucking Rand Paul the fucker, you know what I mean? So don't give me shit about, you know, well, if, if we just try and say they can't do it, it's not going to get done. What are they going to do with this huge, huge gigantic database if the Senate says it's illegal and you've got to shut it down? You think, that, you think that they're going to shut it down? You think that they're going to shut it down and wipe all that information and stop collecting it? Fuck you! If they're not collecting it, some fucking foreign country's going to be start collecting through the internet. You know what I mean? Once this fucking Pandora's box is open, it's open. And it's been open for 30 or 40 fucking years. There's no closing that lid now, man. You need to control it. You need to regulate it. You need to fucking make sure it's independent. Make sure that politicians can't fucking use it to fucking, you know, poison the, 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 uh, the, the people running against them in, in elections and shit like that. You know what I mean? It's like everybody says, who watches the watchers? Well, you've got to put in levels of watchers who watch the watchers and levels of watchers who watch the watchers who watch the watchers until you get a, a, enough of a, a, a bunch of people that somewhere in there you're going to get a Julian Assange that, that will fucking tell you when it goes wrong. We need whistleblowers, man, you know what I mean? I love the idea of this guy who's, who's sitting in Hong Kong who fucking spat this out, man, and, you know, and let people know about it. But he's as fucking paranoid about the fucking shit as everybody else. He seems to think it's only ever going to be used for bad, you know? I think a system could be set up where there's always the opportunity for it being used for evil, but basically it's there for, for the good, you know what I mean? That's the only thing I, I can see, you know? There's no sense in just trying to destroy it. Because all they'll do is they'll move it and hide it somewhere, bury it in a fucking desert somewhere, under a dome, with lots of fucking, you know, people who don't give a shit. And who, when the, the next president comes in, who's a fucking evil bastard, turns around and says, you know what, I want to use this. And now Nixon comes in, I want to use this to destroy my enemies, you know what I mean? They turn around and say, well, perfectly okay with me, you know what I mean? Just give us all a raise, you know what I mean? We'll make sure that none of the underlings will just type in the fucking cause and know what's going on. We'll get you the information and you can destroy the fucker. We need to have regulation in place to stop that from happening. You know what I mean? And, and, but... To try and say, let's just destroy it, let's stop it from happening, let's stop them from collecting it. They're going to collect the information, they'll just develop the technology to take it without putting a wire straight in. Shit, America was listening into fucking, um, uh, what do you call it, Russia, during the Cold War. Do you know how they did that? They snuck a submarine in there and sat over the fucking, the, the, the underwater fucking communication lines in Russia. And I electronically fucking sucked the fucking information out of it without even tapping into the fucking wire. They didn't do that till later on. They put uh, an actual fucking thing on the wire. But before it was just a submarine sitting over it really close with electronic equipment which could fucking read the, the, the pulses of fucking information going through the wire. So you don't even need to have one of these big fucking secret rooms, that 501 room or whatever it is, or 514, you know what I mean? where it's, it's got an actual hardwire connection into the internet. You don't even need that. There's probably technology now where they can just fucking have a fucking a car sit next to one of those fucking telecommunication fucking towers and just pick everything up. You know what I mean? Pick it all up and dump it on a big gigantic hard drive in the boot of the car, you know. A nice Prius would do it. It's got a nice big battery, you know what I mean? You know, you try to destroy it, try to get rid of it, regulate it. Time to test to regulate. Let me get in charge of it. I'll look after it. Honest. I'll be nice. Swag <laughs> you fucking bad motherfuckers.